Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me an Open Source channel. Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the i3 window manager in your Fedora 30 workstation. So I've done three videos. So the first one was Manjaro i3 customization right from scratch. So how to download the Manjaro i3 edition, um, install it in a virtual machine and then use my Ansible playbook to configure your i3 tiling window manager. And then I showed how to do that if you've got an Ubuntu 19.04 machine. I think it's 19.04. And then I also did if you've got a Manjaro GNOME edition. And now uh, one of the viewer asked me if I could do a video uh, showing how to do that on a Fedora 30 machine. So in order to do that, I had to update my Ansible playbook to work with multiple distributions. So initially I started with uh, Arch Linux, Pac-Man. So all my Ansible playbooks were uh, customized for uh, Arch Linux. And then um, when user requested to show how to do that on an Ubuntu machine, I uh, updated my Ansible playbooks to cope with Ubuntu as well. So now this is Fedora. Uh, this is a YUM-based distribution, RPM distribution. So I've updated my GitHub repository and I'm gonna show you now it's, the steps are all going to be very similar. You don't have to do anything different. So you have your machine, just install Ansible and run my Ansible playbook that will configure your uh, desktop environment for i3. And all the shortcuts that I've used and all the applications I've used and all the configuration files. So everything should be in my GitHub repository. If you've got any questions, uh, please ask me in the comment section. I should be able to respond to you um, at the earliest I can. All right, so let me launch my virtual box on my host machine. So I'm going to show this on a virtual machine. So I've got Fedora i3. Let me start that. Let me also resize this. Okay, so this one is a Fedora 30 workstation, a complete clean installation. I haven't installed any packages or any customization. So this comes with a GNOME, GNOME desktop environment. So Let's see how to use my Ansible playbook to um, customize, install i3 and all the dependencies and then customize it, all right? So let me log in. Okay, so you will see the uh, GNOME desktop environment. All right, so that's our GNOME desktop environment. And now let me switch that to the right, okay. Um, let me open the terminal. So that's my uh, Fedora 30 workstation without any customization. Let's see how to install i3. It's gonna be very simple. So the first thing is sudo dnf install um, Ansible, all right? So let's install Ansible. That's the only requirement. You don't have to install the i3 package. Uh, because as part of my Ansible uh, playbook, I will be installing i3, i3 gaps, and all all such things. All right. So once this Ansible uh, run is complete, we will log into the i3 desktop environment and quickly verify uh, all, if all of our customizations are uh, there and how to change your screen resolution and so on. All right. So installation is complete now. So now I'm going to git clone my uh, my i3 GitHub repository. Git clone https github.com slash just me and open source slash my i3. I'll put a link to this uh, GitHub repository in the description. CD to my i3. Okay, so we are in the my i3 directory and uh, the first thing you got to do is edit the setup.yaml file and update your username here. So my Fedora 30 workstation installation I've got here. I've used my username as venkatn, so change it as per your username. So that's the only thing you have to remind, you have to remember to do. So once that's done, cat uh, the readme file. So here. Um, because we're using Fedora, we have to do sudo dnf install Ansible, which we already did. And then go to git clone. Once you download that, you've already downloaded it. You've already cloned the GitHub repository. That's okay. CD to my i3. We are in the my i3 directory and then run the Ansible playbook. 
minus i so that's the ansible inventory file and then setup.yaml all right so ansible run completed it took less than a minute all right so cd to docs uh, while i'm here i'm also going to show you because many people liked my z shell customization i'm also going to show you how to install uh, and customize the z shell so have a look at zshell.md. So we are going to install zshell if you haven't already got zshell installed. And then on top of it, we are going to install oh my zshell. And then we are going to use zsh auto suggestions. Uh, if you followed my all, if you followed all my videos, you would have seen when I start typing something, it will show uh, some of the uh, commands from my history in the background, so I can auto complete it easily. So that's what. Uh, the ZSH auto suggestions plugin too. So let's see if we have got ZSH installed. No, so sudo dnf install minus y ZSH. All right, that's done. Cat ZSH.md. And now we are going to run this command. All right, so that's running. That's done. So now we have our Z shell ready. I can't change your shell automatically because the system does not have does not have change shell. Okay, sudo dnf install minus y change shell. Okay, so we don't seem to have the uh, CS CHSH. All right, so you can change that yourself if you do which zsh. So user bin z shell. So now we can do sudo vi password. And here, search for your user account. That's the user account, and change that to user bin z shell. All right, so that's done, and now we should be good to go. Cat zsh dot md, and now we're gonna install the sorry the zsh auto suggestions plugin copy that and install it all right so that's done and go to your home directory edit the dot zsh rc file go to all the way to the bottom and see where the section says plugins and then add zsh auto suggestions all right so that's it Save that and now we should be good to go. Close that and let's log out and log into our i3 environment. Log out. So still we'll be using the GNOME's login manager, uh, but we should be able to choose the i3 desktop environment. So select your username and type in your password. And before hitting enter, click this little gear icon and choose i3. And then click sign in. All right, cool. So that's our fancy i3, very minimalistic. And you can see my i3 blocks uh, status here. So currently it's showing Cambridge and the weather and you can change it yourself. Uh, you can change the location yourself. I'll show you where the scripts are. And before that, we will see a um, few things. Let's see if our shortcuts are working. All right, so if I want to launch my application launcher, so mod and spacebar. Cool, so that's our Rofi application launcher that's working fine. Let's also change the background while we are in here. So the application that I use to change the background or set the background wallpaper is Nitrogen. I install Nitrogen as part of my Ansible playbook. Select that, by default there are no um, wallpapers, so you can set the preference, add the directory that's containing your wallpapers. So let's say pictures and click OK. So there's only one wallpaper that I just copied. That's also part of my Ansible playbook. I usually use this um, wallpaper for all my distribution, for all my laptops. All right, that's done. Let's also zoom and click Apply. Cool. So that's working. Let's see if our terminal shortcut is working. Mod, Shift, Enter. Cool. So that's our terminal shortcut. Oh my Z shell plugin ZSH auto suggestions not found. Okay, so let's go ahead. CD to my i3, CD to docs, 
cat zsearch.md let's run this again for some reason it doesn't seem to be installed so go to your home directory and then run this okay I think now it should be okay control D open the terminal again all right cool okay so now if I start typing something it will pop up in the background uh, some of the commands from my history okay if I start typing git and you can see the uh, autocomplete command that's in the background all right so if I hit the right arrow key it will auto complete the command from my history so that's the Z shell auto suggestion and let's see if we can open the editor mod shift E all right so that's our editor that's working fine let's see if we can open the command line file manager which is ranger mod shift f all right so that's our command line file manager that's working perfectly fine close that all right so now let me show you how to change your screen resolution or set your screen resolution there is a command called x render that will show you what's your current resolution is it's 800 by 600 way too smaller and the screen is uh, virtual one so that's the name of your screen output all right so you can use x render minus minus list monitors to show you the list of monitors so at the moment as I'm using virtual box it's using my virtual screen so the output is called virtual one so copy that and there's an x render command uh, minus minus output uh, set mode and so on but you don't have to worry about that go to the i3 config dot i3 slash config I've got that already so here if you go to all the way to the top yep set screen resolution uncomment that one x render minus minus output change the output to whatever your output is if you do x render minus minus list monitors it's gonna show you the list of monitors along with the name so in my case it's virtual one I can say I need one double four zero and nine hundred and now if you restart or log out or log back in it will apply the resolution there is also another command or a graphical utility for X render which is a render and right click the uh, screen that you want to change the resolution click apply there you go so that's our resolution that's set right and let's set the wallpaper again apply that's done and let's see if our notification daemon is working okay I'm gonna launch the terminal run the command notify send hello how are you all right cool so that's dunst that's our notification command cd to opt scripts my i3 blocks so you can see all the uh, the scripts that are used for my i3 status bar here so everything is the uh, because this uh, virtual machine it doesn't have a battery so my i3 battery script doesn't produce any output here so we have date weather load average uh, so that's the amount of memory my system is currently using so as you can see here weather temperature memory load average date so for everything you've got the scripts so if you want to display anything on this i3 uh, blocks status bar you just write your script you can uh, look at one of these scripts for references so the output of the script has to be in a specific format and you can follow one of these scripts and you can write your own script if you want to put anything in this uh, status bar all right so that's done let's see if our lock screen is working so mod l is for lock and is it working no which i3 lock i3 lock is not installed okay ls lock mod l nope i3 lock is not there all right so um i'll fix that and when you do uh when you lock your screen it's going to blur your screen and then it will uh lock and you can start typing your password 
and then uh, you can log in back you can unlock your system so uh, by the time you watch this video I would have uh, fixed my Ansible playbook to at the moment uh, the shortcut for the lock screen is not working so the shortcut is mod and yell for lock um, I'll fix that anyway by the time you're watching this video all right cool I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video it's very similar thing that I've discussed in all my previous videos so I don't want to drag this video if you've got any questions leave me a comment I'll get back to you uh, at the earliest I can probably within the 24 hours all right so I hope you enjoyed this video please share and subscribe I'll see you all in another video bye bye